Hello, this is Dr. J here with Let's Play Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. Blind, because, well, first of all, it's a brand new game. And secondly, because I never played the originals. Not because I wasn't interested in them, but it's just one of those things I never got around to. Because, hey, no one has time to play every video game ever made, right? But uh, now that the reboot is finally out after some, frankly, pretty dumb delays, but hey, at least it's finally out. Uh, now I can finally... Finally play it, and experience this franchise that I've been pretty interested in for a long time. So hey there, Nell. My name's Nell. Never mind that I'm being called Dr. W here in the, uh, <laughs> in the dialogue. It must be pulling that out of my system settings. I will go by Dr. J. Oh, and uh, sorry that the audio isn't properly balanced. I guess right now it seems okay. But sometimes, lately, the audio has been messed up on my Switch. Uh, but yeah, right now it actually looks like it's alright, so never mind. I'm a CO in the Orange Star Army. <sighs> no, never mind, it is messed up after all. Anyway, it's louder in one channel than the other, and I've tried to fix it, and I just can't fix it, so sorry about that. Say, is this your first time playing Advance War? Sure is, Nell. Ah, splendid. Let me give you a quick rundown of a few modes. Can play with up to four players on one Nintendo Switch console? Oh, that's awesome. It seems like these days a lot of games forget to do, like, couch multiplayer and only allow you to play uh, over the internet. But man, if I can play this with friends in person, that sounds like good fun. Looking forward to that. Don't know if I'll actually do any of that in, uh, in this playthrough, but it'd be kind of cool if I was able to talk some friends or family into joining me. Oh. Okay, yeah. You can play wirelessly as well. Got it, got it. Okay, campaign is definitely going to be the focus of this Let's Play. Okay, sounds good. Now, I've seen some people really sort of rag on the redone art style of this game. I guess I can understand if you have major nostalgia for the original. I, I mean, a lot of people who have nostalgia for an old style don't like the new style, right? But having not played the originals, I don't have that nostalgia. So, I mean, it looks good to me. I think that I like what I'm seeing. This looks pretty good. Okay, see you there, Nell. This story has yet to be revealed. Black Hole Rising. What I do know about this game is it is a ridiculously cartoony and bright and lighthearted take on a war game. And I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm kind of in the mood for something very cartoony and lighthearted anyway. Okay, casual or classic. So what's the difference between the two? I wish it would tell me what the difference is, but I'm going to go with Classic. Okay, sounds good. So I've been told that the tutorial actually basically has a story. Like, it actually contributes to the story, the tutorial in this game. Also, that the game is complicated enough that just skipping the tutorial probably isn't a good idea, so I'm definitely going to go through the tutorial for both of those reasons. All right, let's get started. Okay, sounds good. So we're orange, because we are Orange Star, and therefore the enemy is blue. Ordinarily, the friendly team is called blue, and the enemy is red, but, or orange, or whatever, but it's reversed here, that's fine. Okay, this is very basic. I, I've played, I've played grid-based, turn-based strategy games. I know about <laughs> cursors and stuff. <laughs> All right, well that's fine. I guess it's better to start a little too basic than not basic enough, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is some very upbeat music. I'm guessing, yeah, this one's going to be in attack range. Okay, let's go. Get wrecked, blue. Great job. Okay, you don't need to compliment me for, for something so basic now. <laughs> I don't need a participation trophy here.
It really looks like playing with toy soldiers on like a diorama, doesn't nice it? Kind of just underscoring what a cartoony, bright and happy war game this is. Nell looks very pleased about all of this. What happens if I pick CO instead? Ah, uh, it's fascinating, yes, but not what you need to do right now. Ah, uh, Nell shut me down. Okay, I'll end the turn now. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Mm-hmm. I was planning on doing that, but thanks for confirming, Nell. Hello, Orange Star Troop. Sure, go for it. Okay. Little time saver. What kind of expression is that, Nell? <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you ready for the next lesson? Nell appears to make warfare foxy. Okay, now we're getting beyond the basics universal to all grid-based turn-based strategy games. Capture cities, eh? I see a bazooka. I mean, that's, that's not <laughs> Nell's expressions. Look at that face. That's great. Uh, that's not normally what I think of as a mech, but okay. Alright, so you want me to capture that city over there. It'll take us a couple turns to finish capturing it. Okay. Makes sense. Alright, let's move the mech. <laughs> Don't be surprised if I end up calling these guys bazookas or rocket soldiers because I've played too much Command & Conquer. And also because that is a more sensible name. I mean, mechanized infantry should be infantry that move around in, like, trucks and stuff, not infantry with bazookas, but that's okay. Nice work. Hey, wanna hear a tip? Sure. Okay. Useful. I appreciate that functionality. I'm probably going to make a lot of use of that to speed things up without skipping them all together. I like that feature. Okay. Let's go. I mean, that didn't look like it was a huge advantage, but... Oh, right, right, they were in mountains as well. Sure does.
Interesting, even though they have a bazooka on the world map, it looked like they were just using machine guns in the, uh... in the actual battle scene. Or curious. <laughs> they look pretty funny when I speed it up. You know, I just realized, people watching might think I'm crazy when I was saying that the sound is messed up. I suspect it's messed up in my earbuds, but okay in my recording software. Because in my recording software, it looks just fine. And honestly, if the sound is fine in the final video, even if it's not, like, even if it sounds messed up for me, like, that's a good thing, actually, if the viewers don't have to hear the annoying sound imbalance that I'm dealing with. Interesting. So is that about... Okay, ZR is what brings up this menu. Move, vision, fuel. Wouldn't expect, uh... Okay, rations, I guess. Alright, rations makes sense, if you think of it that way. Infantry are not equipped with primary weapons. Interesting. How about you? Okay, they're prime. I see. They used the bazookas against uh, vehicles, and they used the machine guns against uh, like other other infantry. Okay, now I understand. All right, let's capture. That's the plan. All your base are belong to us. That was basically the original viral meme before the word meme was even in common use. Okay, works for me. So do cities provide a defensive bonus? Three stars, one star. They do. Okay. Sensible. Oh, leaving me to my own devices already, Nell. You must be uh, quite confident in my abilities. Your confidence is not misplaced. Get wrecked, you. All right, and you finish off this enemy. Okay, I think everybody's moved. So what about this CO option? A well-balanced CO with no weak points. They say she was born under a lucky star. Nell's units may randomly strike with up to plus 20 to firepower. Interesting. Likes willful students, dislikes downtime? Is that what that means in the lower left? Style 1. Interesting. Hmm. Well, way to suicide yourself on my troops, buddy. Get out of here. You know, this almost feels less like I'm fighting an actual war and more like I'm just playing in a, like a sandbox. Like, look at this. It's like a, it's like we've made a diorama with like cardboard edges. And it's, it's lying here in the sand. I actually kind of like the effect because I think it feels appropriate to the game's very bright and cheery and lighthearted sort of atmosphere. So I kind of like that aesthetic decision. Oh wow, can't believe we didn't finish him off. Come on guys, you're slacking. There you go.
Easy win. I mean, it was a tutorial level, so I shouldn't exactly feel too proud of myself. Looks like I can probably lower my voice volume level a little. I'm spiking into the red quite a bit. Let's try there. Everything else you need to succeed in combat. I thought that the... Uh, tutorial mode was like... 30 missions long or something crazy. Surely it's not just three. Oh, we get vehicles this time. Heavily damaged and out of ammo. Well, that's not a good situation. Oh, okay. Repair them by moving them to cities. Cool. Great job. Okay, but healing is kind of slow. <laughs> Seriously, Nell's expressions. Alright, seems sensible. I mean, I also call it making choke points or blocking choke points, but... Oh, okay. That makes sense. Take two damage units and merge them into a stronger one. Seriously, what is with that expression? <laughs> oh man. Mm -hmm, makes sense to me. Okay, good to know. Is it out of ammo? Okay, kind of figured. Good grief, who was in charge before we came along here? Good old APCs. Oh, really? Dang, that's pretty good. Now, I wouldn't normally think of APCs as resupply units. They're called armored personnel carriers because they, get this, carry personnel. <laughs> I would think we'd have some kind of fuel trucks or ammunition trucks or something, but hey, that's okay. You can also supply units by placing them in buildings, yep. Sounds like a good plan to me. <laughs> you look a little too happy about that, Del. Alright, get wrecked. Well, that was effective. Yes. Well, gee, the enemy headquarters seems kind of vulnerable, doesn't it? Oh, okay, so APCs can also transport troops.
<laughs> She's so happy about it. This does look like an easy victory. Seriously, what was the enemy thinking? Just leaving their headquarters exposed like this. Oh, wow, look at that. They even uh, made a separate uh, little battle scene for the bridge. That's kind of cool. All right, the enemy's headquarters isn't mine yet, but it soon will be. Oh, let's help out our tanks by bombarding that group of enemies. Oh, wow. Man, those artillery are good. I guess you can just, yeah, sit there. And you can also just sit there and keep on blocking the bridge. No, my tanks! Before I capture the enemy headquarters and win. Revenge! Get out of here. Congratulations! Oh no! Just when I was about to ask Snell out on a date, too. Guess there's no time for that if we've got a war to fight. Is that really it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's so meta. We're breaking the fourth wall a bit there now. Alright, well, I think now that we've completed at least the initial tutorial levels, uh, that seems like a good point to call it an episode. Next time, we start with uh, the prologue, I guess. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I'll see you then.